Hey guys, welcome to the Race to Marshall. We're here with Lance Pierce. What's up, guys? My name is Lance Pierce. I'm here with my girl Raven. Check us out. Got my city on my back and my money on my mind. Lance Pierce, innovators and aviators. I take everything aside. I mean, being a woman in the hip hop industry is obviously very tough because it's male dominated, because the major successes and just the way that you know male artists have been able to translate has been, has been a lot more impactful. But I would say the, the upside of being a woman in the industry is that like there are so many young women who are looking for a voice and for somebody who to like who could represent them, their experience, the ups, the downs, and their whole experience of what it is and to translate that into music. It's kind of like what Lauren Hill did, which is why even one album, she's forever a classic. So for me, the way I get over the, the, the hurdles is, like honestly, I just stay focused. I don't really pay much attention to it because for me, it's just like I'm going to make great music and I'm going to let that be the dictator to like where my place is in, in, in hip hop, you know, and just a thick skin, you know, you learn from over time. Like. I used to go to shows and I used to get literally like, you know, on the underground open mic scene in the city, like I would get everything, like claws, but booze, everything. So you just end up building like this, you know, this like immunity. Like I don't really care anymore. Like if you love me, you love me. If you don't, cool, it's not for you, you know. These lines, that's frustration, that resentment, built up over time. I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah it is a mind scramble. Um, I love it. I love being the person who, you know, you, you see one thing and then you hear another. Because it's the, um, you know, the, the best weapon, because it's the underestimated. Um, and for me, like, I just feel like there's a lot of, again, like, I go back to the thing of being a representation for young women. Like, I feel like there's a lot of really pretty girls who people only see them like they're just pretty girls and they have so much to offer. And it's like, you know, you could be smart, you could be fierce, you could be can be hungry, you can be driven, and you know, I just want to like kind of do that. I want to do a mind scramble. I want to flip the game on its side and like redefine what a what a woman in hip hop or a woman in general can be in today's day and age. You know. Yeah. Marathon mentality. My crew is being young in the industry is like the. For me, I didn't go to traditional high school, so I left a high school when I was like 14. Right. So. Like all the same things that you would learn in high school, like the times where you, um, you know, you just you, you make mistakes or you, you know, you come you can't come wearing the wrong outfit and like you get made fun of, so to speak. That's kind of like coming up in the industry because, you know, it's like you're just trying to find your persona and your place and like you're so young that, you know, everything around you is like you're a sponge and you're taking it all in, you're soaking it all in. And, um, you know, 16, 17 to be on tour with Snoop and to be doing those kind of things was just like, those were my teachers. Those were like, you know, so it was crazy. Like the cavalry, barbies, back to back, horsepower, racing through the battery, panel. Yeah, don't take myself so seriously. <laughs> you know? I even tell myself that now, just because it's just like, you have to have fun with it, you know? And it's just like, at the end of the day, it's music, you know? And music is, is there's no really right or wrong. It's just like what your taste is. So, um, and then the other thing I would tell myself is like, don't, um, you know, don't think that, you know, one one time or one space defines you. Meaning, like, you know, keep growing. Like, don't be afraid to, like, you know, not know something. Just keep growing. Power, you batteries. Buzz up like canopy. Book for matches, kerosene. Eyes on um, incredible. Like, anytime that you're a new artist and you get to open for somebody who you really respect or who's in the game for a while, it's just, like, you just try to learn and take take as much knowledge in as possible. Stand on the side, like... You know, I'm watching their shows. Like I'm doing my thing, and then I'm, and then I'm coming to stand on the side of the stage, and I'm like, okay, okay. When they do this, this gets the crowd really hype, or like call and response. You say certain things that you know, you know, are are action words. Like you know, you know, whatever. Put your hands up, or like when I say this, you say that. It just gets people involved. So I just learned. On me, dilate. We animals, primates. Stay the fuck out of my way. I don't like it. You could check me out on Twitter at Lons Pierce. I definitely have updates on the regular there and I really like just, you know, share personal thoughts. Or like you could go to soundcloud.com slash Lons Pierce. And then um, definitely I would say like listen to the EP Point of No Return, which came out in March. And, and that's on uh, vibe.com. Um, or you could go to Dat Piff. Just type in Lons Pierce and you know it's all there. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for watching guys. See you soon.
mommy don't know he gets frisky with his hands and she leaves me with him and i'll be really scared there's a pillow between us